Hey guys, it's LegoBoyZ3. These are my top 5 favorite PLL algorithms. And so today I'm going to be going over my top 5 favorite PLL algorithms. And so if you don't know, PLL is a step in CFOP where you permute all of the last layer pieces like that. And so a lot of those algorithms are really fun to execute. Uh, some of them not so much, uh, but most of them are pretty fun. And so these are the top 5 ones that I like to execute the most. And so for each of these, I'm going to tell you the PLL that I'm doing, I'm going to show you how I execute it, and I'm going to give you the algorithm down here. And so for the first one, I had a little bit of trouble deciding. I kind of almost debated making it the G perm, just because it's so fun to execute the GA perm like that. I'm pretty slow at it, but it is pretty fun. And so what I chose instead is just a simple H perm, and so this is where you just have four edge pieces like this that need to be flipped opposite. And so this one is pretty simple to learn the algorithm, but it actually is a little bit tricky to learn how to do it correctly. And so it involves lots of M2 moves like this. And so the way I originally did it is I just did like this with my ring finger twice. But there's a lot better ways of doing it, like doing ring finger than middle finger, which is how I do it now. And so the actual algorithm is like this. I'm actually really slow at it. I can do it a little bit faster on my main cube but I still am pretty slow. But this is just a pretty fun PLL that most people know, and it just flows really well, and you can do it pretty fast if you're not me. Uh, but anyway, that is it for the H perm. Next up, we have another interesting one that's also very popular. Most people know this one. It's just the T perm. And so this one's pretty similar to another one that I'm going to be showing you later. And the reason for that is all the moves just flow really nicely. Like you see, my fingers are just in place. There's like no regrip besides that one little one right there. It just flows really nicely and you can just do it really fast. I can't do it very fast on this cube in particular, but I can do it fairly fast compared to the rest of the PLLs that I know. And yeah, this one just flows really well and it's really fun to do because it's simple to learn and it just goes like that. And you may notice at the end there, I do that with my finger. That's something I learned kind of recently. I wasn't actually able to do it when I first learned the algorithm. I would do it like that, but it's actually a lot more efficient and a little bit quicker to do it like that. So yeah, that one's pretty fun, but it's not all that interesting. Next up is one that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will think is very interesting that I have it on this list because it's actually really hated. Like people really don't like this one and I really didn't like it for a long time until I learned the proper execution for doing it. This one is the E-perm. You may be wondering why it's on this list right here. Again, because most people don't like it. And so the way that I originally did it was like this. And so you may have noticed it was really awkward and slow when I had to regrip to do the D prime move with my right hand like this. And so now I've learned the proper way to do it. This is kind of the key to the algorithm. You have to do D prime moves like this with your left hand. And so that actually makes it quite a lot faster. I can do it a whole ton faster than I used to be able to. It's pretty still pretty slow on this cube, but I can do it quite a lot faster on my main cube again. And it just flows really nicely like this. And as long as I don't lock up like I'm doing right now. I can just do it really fast, and it just feels really cool to do. And I'm sure most fast people already know how to do this fast, but I just found it really interesting that you could change a thing so subtle like that in an algorithm, and it would make it so much faster. And I just really like executing it now. And so that was the EPERM. Next up is one that is a very simple algorithm. Most people already know how to do this one too. This is a part of Tulip PLL. It is the UPERM. And so this is actually the UB perm in particular. And the way I used to do this was like this. And so back when I used that algorithm, it was actually one of my fastest PLLs, but since then I've learned a better algorithm, which I do a little bit slower because I haven't quite mastered the TPS on it, and it also involves M2 moves that I showed on the T-perm, and so that one is, you hold it like this, and you do this. And a lot of faster people do already use this one, I just didn't realize how much faster it was than the normal one for quite a long time, and so I just recently switched over to it, but I do quite like it, and once I get a little bit faster at it, I'll be able to do it quite a lot faster in general. And so that is the UB perm. And so a kind of interesting thing about this algorithm and the reason that I didn't just write UB down there, I just wrote U, is because you can actually do the same thing for the UA perm, like this. You have to do the M2s with your right hand and the U's with your left hand. And so it goes something like this. I'm really slow at it. I like can't do the finger tricks at all, but it does work pretty well. I use a different algorithm for the UA perm still, uh, but if you are good at doing uh, M2s with your right hand, you can use that one too. And so yeah, that's the U perm, and you can do both of them using that finger trick, but I just use the UB perm. And then finally, the last PLL on this list, it's the one that I really enjoy doing, and I can do it insanely fast. It's probably my fastest PLL. 
well, it's not really insane compared to people who are faster than me, but this is the J perm, the J B perm in particular, the one that looks like this. This is like the very simplest algorithm there is. It just flows very nicely, just like the T perm. It's kind of just like a T perm, only if a couple moves switched around. And I just really love how it flows. It's just amazing to execute. And so much like a lot of these other ones, I didn't like it quite as much as I like now until I learned how to do it properly. And so the way that I used to do it was like this, R, U, R prime, F prime with my thumb, and then you had to kind of regrip again. And there's actually a much better way to do it, like I said, with the T perm, uh, with the F move at the very end. I do it like that. I also do that with the F prime move in the beginning of this algorithm. So R, U, R prime, F prime. And then you can just continue on doing it really fast from there. In the very beginning of this algorithm, I can do a lot faster than the second half because I kind of get locked up on that R prime move sometimes. But still, it's just a really nice algorithm, and I really like it. It's really enjoyable to execute, and it is my favorite PLL. And there we go. So I know at this point, a lot of you guys will probably be laughing at me about how comparatively slow I am at all these algorithms. And that's just because I'm not very advanced on 3x3, and I don't really try and do it super fast. I do speed cube occasionally. But yeah, these are my top 5 favorite PLLs. I can't do any of them particularly fast, but they're still pretty fun. But anyway, leave a like down below on this video to show me if you liked it. Leave some suggestions down in the comments below for other top 5 videos that I can make like this in the future. And also stay subscribed to be notified when the next video comes out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!